All right, I'm the Treadmill Review Guru. Today I'm reviewing the uh, Tread Climber TC10 by Bowflex. Um, Bowflex uh, has been advertising these tread climbers for a little while, saying that they're the, the next best thing. Uh, I put one together and uh, wasn't too happy with it. It's really not that great. Uh, I compared it with the Nordic Track X9i. I'll link to that video in the description. But for now, I just want to run through a quick review of this so you can get a better idea of uh, what you're looking at. If you're looking to buy this, I'll give you a, a good insight as to what I think about it. Um, first we'll go with the console. Um, the console is really, really basic, nothing too fancy going on. Start, stop, gives you your time, your speed. Your max speed is 4.0 miles per hour. Uh, so you're not going to do a lot of running on the tread climber. Your calories, not really sure what this thing does, and then you adjust your speed here. Um, then you've got your emergency safety key. That's about it, two cup holders. So uh, compared to a lot of the newer consoles out there, this is really simple, really basic, not a lot going on. A lot of times you'll see TVs and stuff with the newer things. Uh, for a $22, $2,300 machine, I would expect to see more out of the console, but there you go. Um, the tread belt is a lot different than your traditional treadmills. I'm sure you're, you've seen the commercials or you're familiar with uh, how these work. Uh, when you watch the TV advertisements, they make it look like these things go up and down um, automatically. I had one person try it out saying, oh wait, I thought, I thought these go up and down by themselves. I'll turn it on here so you can, you can see. Uh, you actually, they actually just go down based on your weight. So where you, how heavy you are, how much resistance you give, uh, these there will determine um, how far those go down, so it's not all automatic. What I don't like is how short the how short they are. Uh, I feel like my feet are going to hit the back here. Um, one of my friends was walking on it, and uh, his foot got caught right here. His shoe got caught in there, and it left a big streak right there. The first time he ever got on it, uh, we can show you the streak. That right there is what his shoe left because he got caught right in here. So that's kind of a hazard. Um, don't really like that too much. What I do like about it is that it's small. When you're getting into some of the bigger treadmills, they're huge. If they're not folding, they're going to take up a lot of space. This thing's kind of compact, which can be nice. Uh, you can get a decent workout with it. If you do a lot of hiking, this is a good machine to work your, your, lower, your lower body, but um, I wouldn't expect to get much m you know, you're not going to burn a whole lot of calories. You're probably better off uh, running on a treadmill if you're looking to burn a lot of calories. So, um, for the price, I would definitely consider something else. If you can get it on sale or if you're really in love with it, you'd probably want to go with the TC20. It's a bit better. It doesn't have this back thing on it. It's a lot more expensive, but um, it, the, the TC10 is kind of a, a joke in my mind. So, if you like the tread climber, consider the TC20. Otherwise, I would just go with the treadmill. So. There's my review of the TC10.